I have not been paid to buy or endorse any of the products that will be featured in today's segment. So let's start the show. In this occasional series, I will be critiquing items of clothing that I have bought and may also be of interest to you. It's just too much. Paul, it's time for your latest fashion episode. What are you going to choose? There's just so much on the bed. Look at this. There is, isn't there? And you're not allowed items of clothing that you've had for some time. They have to be things that you have bought recently. Now, they can be from charity shops, and I think that is going to be your first one. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. What do we think of this collection inspired by Italy? This is one of those premium type shirts that they would sell at Marks and Spencer. I think that the going rate is normally like around 30 to 40 pounds. How much did I pay when we went to the charity shop in Rochester? I believe it was about, I believe it was between seven and 10 pounds. Um, all right, so I did fold it. Now let's unfold it, shall we? I had to give this a nice wash and I had to give this a nice uh, iron before I featured it. So normally you could either have a shirt inside or not. It's entirely up to you. Um, this is a large, I think this is like a fitted shirt. So I think this is like one of those formal type shirts that is not casual. You could wear it on a casual day as well, but it does look nice and purpley. So you do see like the violet and the purple and the blue and i do like the checkered look so this overall has a really nice feel and it elevates any type of jeans or trousers or outfit that you do like and it's also a good pairing with a blazer if you want to go super formal or if you just want to look smart you will look smart in this outfit and I do not regret buying this t-shirt at all. Even though Marcus would say, another one, not another one. Oh, why are you doing this again? Well, to be frank, I would be rather paying the charity shop price because it is going to a good cause than benefiting just the retailers who are um, making a big profit margin for selling it in their stores. So this is a really nice shirt and I will be showing you my next purchase in a moment. But right now, why don't you enjoy this brief message? Where's the receiver? This is a very strange phone box. Oh. Why can I not make a call? Paul, where's the phone? It's on this side. Oh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, yes, you'd like to subscribe. It's Paul and Martha's on YouTube. going up, but I'm trying to get the Yes, this is a polo by Ralph Lauren. I don't normally buy Ralph Lauren because of the price. I think normally in a normal retail outlet such as like a John Lewis or somewhere else like Selfridges or something, this could go easily for between 70 and 90 pounds. Did I pay that? No, I did not. I got this lovely number at Oxfam actually and I paid approximately, not approximately, it was $8.99. So I think this is a really nice polo and I will model it for you right now. Oh. 
Okay, so... How formal do I need to look? Okay, so you can either button it up all the way or leave one or two buttons undone. But let's just have it all buttoned up just to look a wee bit smarter, shall we? So from the offset, um, I don't think that the sleeves are overly long, which is a good thing because I don't like it when the sleeves go too far down your forearm. And I think that this cotton feels very light and airy, which is really good, especially during the summer months. Um, <laughs> I think this hides any fat that I do have, <laughs> which is one of the reasons why I did buy it. And I did try it on at the Oxfam charity shop before I actually buy it. Because just like in retail outlets, you're not able to return items that you change your mind about. So it's always a good sign to be wary of the sizes and to try before you buy. Okay, going back to the outfit, I do like the Polo um, Ralph Lauren um, logo. Is that what it's called? So it's a nice um, dark type of logo, so that's nice. Um, overall, I do like this polo and I think I will very probably wear this a lot more often in the coming year. Nice jacket, Paul. Yes, do you like it? It is a nice, um, copper is a copper colored or something like the outside i mean it looks like mm. a brownish type of coppery um red type of feel to it um the inside it's got like a check thing the inside looks like a tartan it's, yeah tartan tartan type of um um fabric and it i don't know whether the this isn't quoted, but there is like a lining. So this is an extra large and it is a real Hoxton. And what is that? Jesus? Renowned tailor. So I think it goes to show that it's of English quality. Okay, so what do I think of this jacket? So it is very, very casual. They have zippers. So let's zip me up. And they, we have an inside pocket right here. I don't think that there's one on this side, but I think this is good enough. Um, I do like the, what is this called again? It's a collar. <laughs> yes, it is a collar. <laughs> Forgot what it's called. So I think this is a really good type of outerwear when you want to wear it in the springtime or in the autumn when you could pair it with a nice pair of fingerless gloves just like I'm doing just now. But I think overall, I do like this jacket because it is machine washable and it did dry very, very quickly. I did buy this jacket at a charity shop when I did visit Rochester a few months ago. And I think this does look kind of hip. It does feel kind of retro. Is it vintage? Yeah, I think maybe it could be vintage because I think this type of look is coming back into style. So I think overall, this is a nice layering type of jacket that that you could wear with a hoodie or you could wear with a jumper or a really nice and warm sweater with your um scarf as well so i do think that this was a pretty fabulous purchase and i do recommend for everyone to go visit your charity shops and to give to these places because it is for a really good cause
Another good cause would be for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for those of you that have not done so already because we do really want to reach the 1000 mark or higher. And for those of you that have liked our channel, please hit the thumbs up and we do also read your comments as well. So please keep them coming. And until next time, we will see you later on.